but with Theo Johnson gone, it leaves us with Tyler Warren as a full-time starter. And I believe that he is a top five tight end in college football for next season. With guys like Colston Loveland, Mitchell Evans, likely ahead of him right now at Michigan and Notre Dame, probably Brant Keithy at uh, Utah, Ben Yurzek at Georgia. I would probably put Warren as the fifth or sixth tight end in college football going into next season. Penn State continues to dominate this position. Warren is expected to continue that tradition. Warren had seven touchdowns last season. He had his best game in the Peach Bowl against Ole Miss, where he had 127 receiving yards, which was the first 100-yard game by a PSU tight end since Pat Fryermuth in 2020. And it was a bowl record by a tight end, I believe, as well for Penn State. Warren is an absolute beast. He's going to be a go-to guy for Drew Aller all season long. And when you look at how the tight ends were utilized in Mike Yursich's offense, it was, all right, we can use them every once in a while throughout our drive, but then they were a go-to guy in the red zone. I don't expect that to be the case with Kotelnicki. I expect the tight end to be someone who you can go to anytime you need, anytime you need them. It's second and five. All right, let's go to our tight end. It's third and three. Hey, let's go to our tight end. It doesn't matter where you are on the field. You understand that these guys are matchup issues for the defense on every single play. And as much as you can get them the ball, that's what we're going to do. 